Ladies and gentlemen, our next fighters are ready, so let's get them into the ring. Please welcome into the blue corner, Manolis Domandaki! And now for his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Give it up for Sangam. Go wrong. Ready on. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this bout is set in the 68 kilo division like under end class rules over three two minute rounds. Introducing first the fighter in the blue corner. He's representing Fight Zone. Give it up for Man Ollis. And now for his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Representing the Novi Academy, he is Sagan. Well, on to fight number three this evening. 66, 68 kilogram matchup, novice class Muay Thai. First of three two minute rounds about to commence. Manoles Diamen Dakis. From the fight zone with Jose Varela in his corner over there. And the Nosey Academy across the ring in the red corner with Sangam Guru. Good tight clinch to start this and a good grip from both fighters, right? Straight away in the clinching. Good work from, from, from both fighters, but especially impressive. Uh, good Gurung's lock was, was, was especially impressive and great sweep there. Yeah, Gurum wants to get busy, doesn't he? Looks yes. lively with the uh, hooks and kicks. Good left kick and right, right, left hook and right kick. And a good time left kick there. Yeah, Manolis looks strong. He fires some very, very good knees up there with his back turn, but he's been dominated in that clinch and pushed in the corner. He had a great, Gurung had a great lock uh, with a hand across the face, but he just let it go. Yeah, I was about to say, he let, he let the position go there, Alex, yeah. And then, well, he's not comfortable there. He's getting points in there, is uh, Malinois. Manolis really determined here. Massive yeah. right hand. Heavy hand. Real fighter, isn't he? Come out really determined here. Heavy hand from Damandakis, but Gurung straight, straight, straight away into the clinch to cancel it out. Gurung gets good positions here, Alex, but he's not firing the knees well, is he? I think, I think when he gets, he seems to have the best position, but Manolis seems to fire the better knees from those. Yes, I, I do think Gurung's got, got a better top top body position, but he's not he's not taking advantage of it to score. Good round, good action. That, that, good that round. round, not much in that. I think I, I think uh, that 
Gurum's kicks were a little bit better, but then uh, Diamond Dakis came back with punches, and clinching was quite even. I think that, you know, I'd, I'd say that clinching on that for me, I'd say Gurum was the more competent clincher, getting a good position, but Manolis was firing the knees in there, and, and they're effective knees as well, so it's a hard one to call really, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Different judges saw that differently, however. It is a hard one to call. Would you trade a good position for taking the knee? Will that knee uh, take up more energy or, 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 or will the, the, the headlock take no, up more no, energy? Novice class rules are called, so, um, you know, it, it's not like you can, you're not allowed to elbow, obviously, you can't knee to the head. So, the position can only amount to a knee at the end of the day. Bill, round two, off three. And statement of intent straight away from Manalis. Literally charged up to him, Those and now they go to clinch. Yep. Those knees are better from Guru. Good's a good position again. Look, he gets his head locked into that shoulder, doesn't he? Yes, he used his head very well. I, I wish he had locked his hands behind him as well. But it was still better lock and better knees than last time, last round. Good kicks on the back foot. Good push kick as well. Oh, oh there's the shot. It was not a down, says Mr. Robinson. No, it was just a flash run, but I'll tell you what, it was the shot that put him down, though, that put him off balance. He was on one leg, though, so I understand it. Yeah. He didn't get a count. That is a very good lock from Guru. Yeah, both fighters look confident in the clinch, don't they? When it comes to novice class, sometimes the clinch can be a bit of a spoil, but these guys are doing it well, right? That was, that was a good knee in the clinch, just as you were saying, a good knee from them and that is. It's still Guru with a good lock, with a tiring headlock. The way he locks, I think he's going to blow his arms out as well, though, Alex. Oh, a bit of technical difficulty with the shorts for Guru. Hasn't noticed at the moment. He wants that right hand. He's starting to box now. There's the knee after as well. I was about to say, is he going to put these hands together with anything else? And just as I was about to say, in came that left knee. But he gets a good position on the clinch again to get him out of trouble. Yeah, it's very good boxing in and the left knee from, from Hamandakis. But then when they engage in the clinch, he's going again with a good lock. Yeah, good ring craft there from Gurung. Got out of the way well, threw some good shots back himself. There you go, Gurung needs to sit, sit his weight lower a little bit more and get the head in. And so it will easily take out yeah, the tight one, energy. that one as well. Very aggressive from uh, DMN Dikas. Very aggressive from him. But Gurung. Gets himself out of trouble well with good positions, doesn't he? And he does score on the back foot. He does score with those left kicks on the back foot. Yes. Very good, well-timed kicks as well. Not sure if they're stopping him coming forward, though. Normally, they're still hard kicks. Yeah, they're the effective, slow, right? Slow down your yeah, yep, yeah, they are. Well, it's going to be a big round three for both these fighters, really. Neither will know if they're ahead or not at this point. And neither corner will know if their fighters are ahead at this point. So, so their only <laughs> statement of intent for the Nosey corner with both the Nosey brothers would be get out there and fight and win this round, surely, yeah? It's the last round, give everything. Real three. Oh, and there's Damon Dakis who starts on the offense, but he gets taken down. No good room. Saying don't rush. You've got two minutes, my oh, friend. That was position. Good throw down as well. That was legal. And the right kick before that and the left kick. Both strong kicks. Boxing well now. I tell you what, good boxing from Gooden on the inside there. It came down to a little tear up there where you had to just exchange. And that's the best punching we've seen from him so far. And he gets a good position on that clinch and good, moves him again. Turn again yes. He's frustrating um, Manolis now, isn't he? He's frustrating him. He's, he's getting a bit frustrated. He gets taken down again. His, his long-range work gets spoiled by, by, by Guru's long kicks and close-in clinching. As we said, that good, good team from, from Diamond Dakis.
He's teeing up his bunches though, isn't he? You can see him coming. He lifts his hand right back to throw those bunches when he's in there. And now that's a very big position. As he takes his back, should throw the knee in there. Good right hand from Lamandakis, but good right kick as well from Brooke. Lost balance on it though, so good score. It's an in there, both guys 50-50 on those knees. He's a little bit sharper, isn't he, Goodham? He is indeed, and that, that, that was a good right kick. Just starting to tie down these two fighters as they enter this stage of the fight. Goodham goes on the back foot, but he'll be ready to shoot whenever he needs to. Liam Andicus has fought a very brave fight. Very warrior brand fighter. Oh, good lean out and counter. That's a close fight, that one, Alex. That it is was, close. It was a close fight. I would edge it to, to Gurum there, just on, on. So would I. He was sharper, wasn't he? It was, a little it was, bit sharper. He was sharper in Christmas, yes. Well, judges' scorecards on this one. Novice class bout. And uh, bout number three here at Raw. And after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Shania Duran. A massive round of applause for Man Honest, Devon Duncan. Well, the judges went with us, Alex. They went with us. Just a little bit sharper was the difference, wasn't it? I think. The Amandicus was very strong and pushed him all the way. He was, he was definitely the one pushing the pace in the fight. But I think Gurum just found good shots on the back foot, didn't he? He was pushing the pace, but he was getting scored on the back foot. And Gurum was a bit more determined in the clinch as well. That's why, that's why I feel. 